Hollywood actors have a unique talent to show a story through their character's eyes via body language, facial expressions, and the words and the way that they say them. In some cases, Hollywood actors have to portray a character that's from another country and they have to use a different accent. And sometimes this works extremely well and sometimes it doesn't work so well. And we are going to look at one of them. Chris Pratt, star of Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic Park and the voice of Mario, for the movie anyway. We're going to look at him and his time on a talk show in England. Talking, talking of accents, this is a weird thing. So, Chris Pratt, is this, this seems so unlikely that you have now learned how to do the voices from TOWIE. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> we, love, that we love that garbage TV back in, <laughs> in the States. My wife was crazy about it, and when I was here filming Guardians, we shot Guardians of the Galaxy here in, yeah. in, in uh, London, and, and my wife, Anna, came out to visit, and she fell in love with this show, Towie, The Only Way is Essex. So he mentions about the Essex accent. Now, where is the Essex accent from? The Essex accent is from Essex. It's to the east of London, very, very close by. It's quite a big county. So when we say the Essex accent, there's varying degrees of it, really. And some of it kind of goes together with what you might have heard of as the Cockney accent or Estuary English. There's some things that come very, very close to that. For example, um, in all of those accents, you'll have TH fronting, which is the V and the F sound instead of a TH. Um, there's an H dropped comparison between Cockney and Essex accents. And there's a lot of exaggerated vowel sounds, meaning they're a little longer sounding. Here's a clip from The Only Way is Essex, so you get an idea of what the Essex accent should should sound like. At the end of the day, it got to a point where I was backed into a corner where it was like, there's, there's nothing more, I, can't, I, can't, I couldn't defend you anymore to people. There's so many people talking about stuff and I was like, what, could, what more can I do but now talk about it? No, I, I, don't, it. I don't want to talk about it. A lot of stuff's happened now, I'm like, I, I don't care. Unfortunately, it sounds really horrible to say it, mm. but I look at you and I, don't, I just don't see or feel anything anymore. So what do you think? How much did you get from that conversation? It can be quite tricky for learners. It does sound a little quicker than some other accents because of the speed of the words and the way the words are kind of all go together into one. But before we get into the video to see how good Chris Pratt is at this accent, how is he practicing this accent? I'm a parrot a little bit, and so when I hear when I hear it all the time, I just started picking it up and started like I could pick up their accent and do their accent a little bit. So he said he's parroting the accent. What does that mean? It means he's acting like a parrot. Essentially, he's doing shadowing. He's watching and then he's repeating after them, trying to mimic the way that they speak. A very effective technique for improving your pronunciation. But let's get really into it and see actually how good he is. Um, okay, this is gonna sound, this is really embarrassing to do in front of a, a whole room full of Brits here, but I'll try it anyways. So it's like, <clears throat> so like, honestly, I, like, I saw this guy. <laughs> Honestly, did like, did like Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef art, and I was like, <laughs> because he was telling me he's like, you know, like, I miss you or whatever, and I'm like, you like, miss me? What, what am I, your mother? <laughs> Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? You can tell from the reactions of the people on the sofa, uh, like Jude Law. Jude Law's there, another actor. He's from England, and you can see his reaction to it, and he's amazed. He's clapping, he's laughing. So it's clear that he thinks that he's very good at it. Let's analyze it a little. So, like, honestly, I, like, I saw this guy. <laughs> so you can hear from the first sentence, he's a guy, he's gone on a little longer, guy you would normally hear. So it's very, very interesting to hear that difference and he's pinpointed that whilst practicing. Whilst this isn't to do with accent, he actually says the word like a lot. And that's a common feature you'll find when you listen to people using the Essex accent. You'll hear it throughout the country though. It's not just specifically to that one area. So like, honestly, I, like, I saw this guy. <laughs> Like, honestly, did like, did like Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef art? And I was like... <laughs> did you hear the glottal stop? Another feature of the Essex accent, you hear it here. Instead of cheat, cheat, cheat. Did Michael cheat on me? <laughs> Not, like, honestly, did like, did like Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef art? And I was like... <laughs> because he was telling me... 
me, he's like, you know, no, I miss you or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, another common word that you'll hear to put as an interjection in the sentence, just to reaffirm with people as well, to make sure they understand what's being said. But you know, you know what I mean? You know, that comes up quite a lot. Because he's telling me, he's like, you know, no, I miss you or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> You don't miss me? What am I, your mother? <laughs> and then you could hear the TH fronting at the end there. Mother, 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 mother. So I'd love to know what you thought about Chris Pratt's accent. Gives you a good idea how even actors practice when they want to practice to get a new accent. He did it for fun there, but he's obviously using techniques to help him build that accent up. So you could do the same. Why not practice some shadowing whilst you're listening to people speak and then you can practice your pronunciation at the same time. And if you're interested in accents, make sure to watch this video here. It's definitely gonna help you improve your pronunciation.